specifically for Soul Farm, where we fit in the kind of wider, more global movement is, you know, we would love to become a demonstration of sort of what is possible on this kind of what I'd say large scale market gardening, um, as opposed to somebody just growing on an acre. Or, you know, we're looking at growing on on sort of f five plus acres, f uh, five to seven acres intensively. So it's, it's, it's a big um, market garden, but a very small farm. Um, but we'd also like, love to become a demonstration farm for not just how we grow regeneratively and with human power, but, but also how our social impact um, uh, could could be rolled out across sort of other other farms. Um, uh, and I know we'll probably come to that later down later down the line. But you know, we have given a lot of advice and. Um, talk to other people through how we can, how you can operate um, some of our social principles um, on on their on their farms. Um, so yeah, it, it really is a is 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 a movement. Um, yeah, so th there's a few. It adds um, a bit more. I mean, firstly, it adds a bit more resilience just in case price of steel changes or any of those fluctuations within the cost of producing whatever we're, we're producing. Uh, so the, the tunnel, um, even between now and when we build it, it, it just allows us a bit of that flexibility um, because otherwise the flexibility would come in sort of reducing the scope of what we're doing. Um, and uh, also means that we can look at um, some things that um, will increase our efficiency, but not necessarily like drive the bottom line. So for instance, rather we would love to build a lagoon to capture water, which would create a wildlife habitat, mm -hmm. um, ecological kind of space, but also a functional um, uh, irrigation um, need. Right. Um, so, so it would fund that. Um, it would also, um, in the stretch target, I mean, this is actually quite a necessary thing, but it would, uh, bias of a couple of containers um, in order to sort of store equipment. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a mixture of like a few kind of added kind of things to the environment to, to make it nicer. Um, and then just adding a few more kind of functional kind of sides, sides to it, sides to it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the locals coming to the farmer's market uh um that's probably i would say quite a wealthy dynamic of of the community which is which is which is good because it it helps us fund um our sliding scale veg box um scheme um so the, the veg box is once a week um people have got total choice of what they put in the veg box but um they do have an option to come in on different tiers so We've got four different tiers, um, low income through to an upper income, um, a highest income kind of bracket. So somebody on the highest income bracket would be basically paying double. So they'd be pay buying a box for themselves and a box for somebody else. Um, so, so yeah, that means that that people can um, buy, buy their veg no matter what their means are. Um, and then beyond that, if there's any surplus beyond that, some of that goes to the food bank. Um, so, yeah, we really there is a, a wealthy um, uh, customer base, um, which is really good. Um, like for any business, you, you need that customer base. Um, uh, and, and found with benefits from the universities and, and stuff like right. that. But it, Cornwall has this real um, divide between social class um, or social status, should I say, and um, uh, and uh, yeah, so we try and kind of meet those needs. That's we we really like working with chefs and restaurants. We have a very good food scene down here for anybody that's visited, and yeah, it's 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 a very um, it's a good it's a good market to be able to sort of sell volume. Um, and and for us, volume is is kind of key in order to get these sort of economies of scale. 
Um, so yeah, we work directly with chefs in the area. Um, so we don't we don't really work through wholesalers. So we build those relationships with the chef and have those weekly um, conversations and, um, and 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 they really love our produce, specifically our salad uh, salad mix, which is you know incredibly fresh and smells great and is crunchy and and so they really buy into that. Um, and and that's not only do we want to sort of grow that area in terms of you know supply what more widely around kind of Cornwall. Um, but we're sort of building relationships. We we would like to pull in a wholesale aspect um, to that as well. Um, so so we're looking at working with a wholesaler called Organic North in order to, you know, because we're rapidly increasing the amount of production, we need to be able to, you know, obviously sell it. Um, but it's the the significant jump in um our profitability comes when we install our new polytunnel which is almost half of this raise is going towards the this this polytunnel um and and that's the thing that really supercharges the business being able to grow undercover all year round um being able to have more produce in the hungry gap um as well as producing more more and more high value crops such as tomatoes during the summer um yeah that's the thing that really um sees the business plan um uh go from strength to strength i think i get really excited thinking about this sort of wider membership and wider kind of co-ownership um and you know i'd really love for instance to not just to go beyond just the sort of agm um and have very specific kind of events on the farm and dialogue with people. Um, anybody we've, we've, we started circulating a, a survey to some of the people that we have invested through because we started the raise on crowdfunder and trying to get to know people through kind of, um, a, a Google survey and, and really trying to put a face to a name. Like we don't right. just want this as a list of people. Right. Um, and really, under, and I'd love to know how they, you know, why they invested, like who who they are, would they like to come to the farm, and kind of really sort of build those relationships if if possible. Um, you know, the minimum thing is the is the AGM, um, uh, I suppose. Um, but then, you know, anybody that's sort of local, they've got the option to um, take their um, interest as as in, in produce, um, uh, as well as, um, so, so there's that, there's that aspect to it as well from a, right. from a local kind of veg yeah. box point of view, obviously for those people that are further away, it's, it's, um, that's not possible. And, you know, you'd want to take your monetary, um, interest. Um, but you know, maybe you visit Cornwall, maybe you'd like to come and come and see us have a, have a cup of tea and a walk around the farm.